rain. Working with the rain metaphor. So I am going to share with you through a little window into my mind, meditation, how that works for me, thinking about this rain. And all the different phrases of how the how it's showing up. So I'm thinking about bringing the rain. And then that goes to letting it rain. And then that goes to a rainmaker. And then that goes to making it rain. And these are all very different things. As I kind of let this unfold in my mind's eye. Bringing the rain, kind of like when you travel. These are like the real surface definitions of these first four that I'm talking about. When I travel and I'm going to a different place, and right when I arrive at my destination, a storm also shows up. And I see the people I'm visiting, and they're like, hey, I see you brought the rain with you. Or it could be snow or sun or whatever. But the general idea is that the rain showed up because I showed up. I brought the rain. But then there's letting it rain, which is that magic word of let, which means all I got to do is allow, not try to stop. Just open, receive, absorb, let the rain happen. It's already happening. It's wanting to happen. Just let it. Then there's the rainmaker which uh, maybe has a little dance and is doing some things to call down the rain. It's controlling the weather. And then there's making it rain. Does anybody know this a little? Yeah, for those that don't know. <laughs> uh, it's some cultural thing. I think it was started by rappers. <laughs> it's the idea that you have a lot of money and maybe you're out at the club and you've got money to burn. So you're just throwing bills after bills out there, making it rain, rain and money. This is a funny one. I started thinking about that. And, you know, there's kind of this way that we worship money in this world. And I start thinking about that a little further. Sort of, yeah, but... You know, really, it's more like we worship the effects that we think money can cause for us. We worship the world of effects, the things that happen outside of us. And then my mind goes, and this is just going to keep happening, and then my mind goes to this, and then my mind goes to that. So then my mind goes to orientation. Of course, it's the one law. And the separated state Instead of being oriented towards source, we're oriented towards the outer world of effects. And so that's what we're worshiping, kind of because that world gives us the effect of our own experience inside. And money is just a cause. It's a universally accepted form of value. And so it seems like with enough money, you can have any kind of experience or effect in the world that you would want and that then would that cause is our the effect of how we feel my happiness or sadness or upset depends on what happens outside of me if i've got issues or problems then usually enough money can do whatever it needs to solve it So it's totally seeing that as cause. But then there's like an evolutionary step beyond that where we recognize that's an energy form. And some people see that in this like worship of money and then put the money so repelled by it saying that money is the root of all evil. And then just I'll just go the full other direction and not even have any money. And that's not right either. It's just energy. It's just energy. It's how we use it. It's not cause, though. That might be cause for that form of making it rain. But what about me and my capacities as a creator being? 
I think this is the rainmaker. This is our ability to recognize it's not so much what happens around me that determines my feelings, but I have my own control of my feelings and my thoughts, my capacities. I think happy thoughts, I hold on to happy beliefs, I'm going to feel happy. Start thinking sad thoughts, holding on to a worldview of how sad everything is, down they go. And so I can control my own capacities and then have an effect on the world. So the things of the world then come to me and I know I'm at cause. Then there's another step beyond the rainmaker. It's letting it rain. Recognizing that as a causal point, as a creator, there is something higher that created me. Something that is more at cause within all of creation. Open to it. Let that rain. Open and let it rain. Receive that blessing. Receive the love. Mm -hmm. So from that point now, on to the next thought is, is this letting it rain is kind of like response and attraction. So the natural thing that happens is in union. And then after that is unified radiation, that's bringing the rain. That's recognizing the cause, having open to it. And now, as you move into your world, all of the stages of cause and effect that we were seeing from the things that happen around us to the apparent source of universal value that lets those things happen, that causes them, to self as a causal factor for being able to create and move and create in the world to source as the causal factor for my being and the presence of all of creation when that cause then moves through all these cycles all the way out into the world so that when i come in i'm carrying spirit with it me because i've opened to it i'm bringing the rain because I let it rain. And so we have these opportunities. We have this ability, availability, and responsibility to the highest source of cause. Then the things that happen, money, yourself, all the rest, they're infused with the power of love. That's who we are. So let's do that.